Alright, next we'll show you how to manually scale a plot plan or drawing. Now, in order to manually scale a plot plan, you need a known measurement on the drawing. Now, the known measurement that we're going to use is the rightmost property line here. Now, according to Planner, it's at 90 feet long, but I know from my original drawing that that line measured 80 feet long. So what we need to do is make that correction, and you'll notice when I do that, uh, the upper uh, property line will change also because this will scale proportionally. Okay, so to get started, let's go ahead and press Control A on the keyboard, and that selects everything on our drawing, and we'll go up to the Edit menu, and we'll select Transform and Scale Selection. This can also be found on the All-in-One toolbar underneath the rubber stamp tool find scale selection here. Okay, now if I mouse over to that point uh, on the known measurement line, you'll notice that my cursor changes to a little red square. And that's because our snap menu is on and the endpoint snaps are selected. Okay, so it's going to allow me to snap precisely to that point. So let's go ahead and click there come down to the endpoint and we'll click there. Now we'll enter the value that that represents. So let's go ahead and enter 80 feet and then we'll click OK. Now when I did that it scaled the drawing so that that line is now represented by 80 feet and the upper line here went down from 140 feet down to 124 and a half feet. Okay let's go ahead and show you another example. Okay, here I have a, a plot plan that we imported. Now you'll notice that if I try to click on the plot plan, it does not allow me to select it. Now in order to scale the drawing, we need to uh, be able to select it. So in this case, what we need to do is to unlock uh, that plot plan. And when we import it, if we go up to the Tools menu and we select Layer Properties. Now when we import this, uh, the plot plan comes in on a locked layer. It'll either come in on the import layer or on the picture layer. So let's go ahead and unlock both of those and then we'll click OK. Okay, so now when I click to it, you'll see that I have a selection box around it. Okay, let's go ahead and drop a measurement on this drawing. Now according to the drawing, I want to use this known measurement that's 150 feet long. Okay, so if I come over and Let's drop a measurement, see exactly what planner is telling us that is. So I'll click on the first point, then I'll come over to the end, and it tells me that that is 108 feet long. So let's go ahead and scale that so that it is uh, correct. And we'll do a control A on the keyboard again to select all. Okay, we'll come up to edit, transform, and scale selection. I'll click on the first point, and then I'll come over to the end point of that uh, known measurement and click there. And then I need to enter the value that was at 150 feet, so I'm going to press 150 and we'll click OK. And now it has scaled that up, and now it's telling me that that's 149 feet 6 and 3 quarters inches. So I see my end point was a little bit off. If I wanted to go back and rescale that, I could. I'm just off by about 6 inches, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. So let's go ahead and pull our drawing out. You'll see that when I did scale that, it blew it off the, uh, the drawing a little bit. So let's go ahead and use our Auto Scale Drawing button to bring that down to fit to the page size. Now when I use Auto Scale Drawing, it does not change uh, the actual scale. It just makes the scale fit to the page better. Okay? And that's how we manually scale a plot plan or drawing.